Hello students, welcome to my class of electrostatics in dielectric medium. In the last class, we are discussing about how to find out the electric potential of an electric dipole. So today, I will show you what will be the electric field of an electric dipole. So we, in the last class, we saw the electrostatic potential form of electric dipole is like this, where P is the dipole moment, R is the distance from minus Q charge to P point, and like it will be the form. Now to find out the electric field at any particular point, so here the point is P. So we have to perform based operation on this electrostatic potential. So what is this gradient of this IR? So there will be a minus sign. We know this. Now here. If we operate this on this form, so it will be minus 1 by 4 by epsilon naught gradient of p vector dot r plus. Now it will be operated here. So this p dot now gradient of This there will be a r vector and gradient of 1 by r t. So p dot r will come out and we have to operate this gradient on 1 by r t. Now from vector calculus, the gradient of p dot r, what will be this form? So here this r is very small, uh, large with respect to l. So l tends to 0. Right? L tends to 0. Now, if L tends to 0, and then if you keep this Q value very um, particular some uh, value, then uh, this uh, dipole moment will be very less. But if we want to um, get a constant dipole moment, in that case, we will also consider Q tends to 0. So, in that case, your dipole moment remains same. Here we are considering this L is very small and to get a uh, finite um, dipole moment, your Q has to be large, right? So in that case, in the value of the dipole moment will be constant and it is exact form and your phi will be a exact form, okay? So, so here our P becomes constant, our P becomes constant. So in that case, it will be like this. And uh, here, del 1 by r cube is minus 3 r vector by r to the power i. Okay. So now if we put this form here, this two form here, let's put it here, then uh, okay. So the form of the electric field will be so here uh, this is minus one by four by epsilon naught, right? So p. So from here it is coming p, and from here it is coming p r. Then uh, c r by R to the power I. So if we do this dot product operation here, then uh, okay. So here actually the form is like this. So we have to think it like this. So the dot product with respect to the dot product of the dipole moment is with R vector. Okay. So it becomes the form becomes 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. Okay, so there will be a minus sign because of minus 3 r by. So we can absorb this minus. So it becomes uh, 3 p dot r r vector by r to the power 5 minus p. Right? Minus p and this will be r cube. Right? 
So this will be the form of the uh, electric field in general uh, distribution of if, if we, our dipole moment is distributed like this in arbitrary uh, orientation. So in that case the form of the electric field will be like this. Now for our convenience if we, for our convenience, if we consider that our um, uh, the minus charge of the electric dipole is situated at the origin here, so the picture is something like this. Here is the minus Q charge. So here will be the plus Q, and the direction of the dipole moment will be like this, right? So if we consider this is at the origin, what will happen? This R prime. Uh, this R prime will be tends to zero. R prime will be tends to zero, right? So this capital R will also will be tends to R, right? So here in all in all those forms we have to put this R, not the capital R, right? So let's consider it like this. Now we are considering uh, a dipole, and the minus charge is situated at the origin. Okay, so what will be the form of phi? The phi form will be from here 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught P and what is R? R is this and if this is the P point, so let me draw it a little bigger. So here is the minus q charge at the origin and this is plus q charge and this is the p vector and this is the theta angle and suppose at this point I want to find out the um, uh, potential also the electric field and this is z axis ok so in the, so here it will be easy if we consider um, in spherical polar body because we, we can consider this is a uh, sphere of radius r right, like this okay so although this is not a uh, proper picture but you can consider this is a um, radius of a sphere okay now so this is the form of um, okay so here this will be p and p dot r right p dot so the, this will be R Q P dot R cos theta. So form becomes P cos theta by 4 pi epsilon naught R square. Form becomes like this. So this is the form of potential at P point, at P point, at this point. Uh, when we are considering the dipole is along z axis. Okay, now let's find out the electric field for this. Um, uh, the combination, this orientation of the uh, dipole. Now here you can see one important point that when you, you are dealing with a point charge uh, at a particular point um, the potential of that point charge is um, varies with 1 by r 1 by the distance right but here you can see the potential of electric dipole varies with 1 by r square and from we will see that what will be the variation of electric field if we um, go at this p point so let's do that so for doing that so for doing that what we have to do we have to again operate the gradient that uh, minus of gradient of phi so phi here is uh, the function of r also theta right r theta now we know that the gradient form in spherical polar coordinate is del del r ok r cap del del r r cap plus 1 by r del del theta theta cap ok then 1 by r sin theta del del phi phi cap ok 
So R cap is the unit vector along the radius. So R cap del del R, then one by R del del theta. Okay, and theta cap this will this can be easily done uh, from the general form of Cartesian coordinate that is I del del x plus J del del y plus K del del z. And there is a transformation equation from spherical polar coordinate to Cartesian coordinate or Cartesian coordinate to spherical polar coordinate. If we use that from that uh, general form of Cartesian coordinate of gradient, we can reach here. And along the phi direction, it will be 1 by r sin theta del del phi phi gap. Okay. So uh, now, so this is the form. Let me write the um, phi form again here for our convenience. That is p cos theta by 4 pi epsilon naught r two. Now here you can see our phi is dependent on theta and r phi. There is no dependency on i. So in that case, uh, this uh, term will not contribute anything on the uh, expression of electric field. So if I tell the rth component of electric field, we, we have to operate del del along this r cube. So if we operate this, it becomes p cos theta and uh, there will be a minus 3 and 4 pi epsilon naught capital R to the power 4 right so this will be uh, okay sorry so this, here uh, the form is little bit uh, did change so here the form is r square not r cube so there r r uh, cancels out right so, uh, so it becomes r square so this uh, here it will be 2 then minus two. so minus 2p cos theta right uh, and uh, here is there will be a minus sign due to this minus and it will be positive okay and e theta e theta will be so this is 1 by r so let's give the minus sign here del del theta and this is a theta component of electric field and then uh, it becomes p cos theta here then 4 pi epsilon naught r square now if we operate this del del theta here it becomes um, uh, so it becomes minus sin theta so again positive term will come 4 pi epsilon naught r square okay so general form in uh, this spherical polar coordinate we can write okay so let me, I am removing this part and here I will write that. So R, uh, we know that potential is high with R square. And here you can see the electric field uh, yeah, along R direction is high with R cube. Okay. So this is an interesting result. And so let me write in vector form 2p cos theta. Okay, 4 pi epsilon naught r cube r cap then there was 1 by r oh sorry 1 by r so again this will be r cube so 1 by r cube form it is adding and here this is p sin theta theta cap p sin theta theta cap 4 by epsilon naught r cube okay so this is the uh, form of electric field Okay, so if I write r theta, this is the function of r and theta. So this is the general form of electric field at a particular point when we are uh, considering the dipole is along z direction. Okay, so what will be the um, resultant magnitude and uh, the component uh, uh, along phi will be zero. Okay, so the magnitude will be root over e r square plus e theta square right so if we do this here this becomes uh, 4 right 4 p square and here also p square and uh, so let's uh, 
do like this. So the magnitude here is like this R cube and when we are considering square and if we take it out from the root term then it becomes R cube and here it is 4 P square cos square theta plus P square sin square theta right so So 4 p square cos square theta. So from here if we take out the p square cos square theta term. So in that case the form becomes root over. So p square plus 3 p square cos square theta. Right. So let's take this p term out of this root over term. Then it becomes root over 1 minus 3 cos square theta. So this is the um, magnitude of the resultant electric field okay, at a particular point P. Now, what will be the angle? So again if I, um, so this is the E rth direction, E theta direction will be like this so resultant field direction will be like this so if we tell this is the angle between the rf component of electric field and the resultant electric field is uh, beta okay so what will be beta tan beta will be e theta by e e r because if we take the uh, parallelogram theorem, then uh, this will be if this is er, this will be e theta. So tan beta is e theta by er, right? And uh, what will be that form? If you divide it here, it becomes half tan theta. See half tan theta, and beta is tan inverse half tan theta so this is a important result and sometimes it comes in exam this form what will be the angle between this so you can so important um, uh, point we, we have seen here that the potential is falling with 1 by r square and uh, the uh, electric field is falling with 1 by r cube in contrast with the point charge where the electric field falls with 1 by r square and potential is falling with 1 by r. Now let's see the field line how it is. Uh, so mm, let me remove this. So this, this was the angle. So I am drawing it here. So this is the J and this is if we consider this point, so the field line will be like this. And the tangent at this point is actually the resultant field direction. This is ER, this is E theta. This was the beta beta angle and this is theta angle okay now if we consider uh, a picture like this if the dipole is suppose very small like this in that case what will be the uh, form of the electric field electric field or lines of force of electric field that will be like this that will be like this that will be like this so this I am giving you the arrow and here also this is like this ok so there is a little bit drawing problem so both in both side it will be symmetrical 
both sides it will be symmetrical so I am trying to draw in a symmetrical way it is almost symmetrical so the electric field lines will be like this and the dipole moment direction is around this so what will be the potential so you know there will be different different potential value at different different point from the dipole if we connect the, all those locus of those points then it will be like this so let me draw it like in dot dot form So it will be like this. So you can you know that uh, put all are equipotential surface, and you know that equipotential surface electric field uh, penetrates the equipotential surface in a perpendicular manner. Means the angle between the equipotential surface and the electric field is perpendicular. So here at all points the direction of the electric field is perpendicular to the uh, equipotential point. Okay, so this is all about the electric field and electric potential of any electric dipole. So in the next class, we will start the uh, what is dielectric medium and the electrostatics of dielectric. Okay, thank you.